All right, guys, it's time for another video. Today, we're going to be looking at some algebra. We're going to solve some two-step equations, and that's going to be the focus of today's video. So let's write that out. Solving two-step equations. Well, you may be asking, what is a two-step equation? Well, a two-step equation is just something that has more than one variable term. So, for example, let's solve this two-step equation. 3x plus 5 equals 7x minus 2. That's the two-step equation we're going to solve. And again, it's called a two-step equation because it has an x term on this side and an x term on this side. Another way to think of this is it's going to require more than one operation to solve for the variable x. And that's what our end goal is, to solve for x. So the way that this video is going to work, we're going to do our math on the left side. We're going to make our notes on the right side. And I think it will help you visualize this process a little better. So first thing, your first step should always be to look for the smallest variable term And then we're going to look at the sign, and that's going to tell us what to do. Well, in this case, our smallest variable term is 3x, and it's positive. So what we're going to do is subtract this 3x from both sides. And I'll do that in blue so that our steps stay, stay the same. So we're going to subtract 3x from both sides. And again, the reason we're subtracting is because this is positive. So we're going to do the opposite. And when you do this, the way this works out, this term that you added or subtracted will always cancel out. It will always disappear. So that what you're left with, bring your 5 down. And that's equal to 7x minus 3x. Well, 7x is minus 3x, so that'll give me 4x. And then bring down your minus 2. Okay, so from here it looks, it looks much more simple. And we're, we're pretty close to being done, actually. There's not much more than this. So we've got 5 equals 4x minus 2. Now we're going to move the number to the other side. And again, our number, all our x's are on this side. We want all the numbers on the other side. So we have a minus 2 here. We're going to do the opposite of whatever this sign is. So we're going to add this 2 to both sides. And again, we'll do that in white so that you can follow our steps. And when we do that, this number will always disappear. Okay, negative 2 plus 2 adds up to be 0. So, simplifying this, 5 plus 2, that will give us 7. Oops. So we'll have 7 is equal to, bring down your 4x. Okay, so 7 is equal to 4x. Now, what this is reduced to is a one-step equation. And we know how to solve those. There's only one operation. That's why they call those a one-step equation. So we're going to divide by whatever's multiplying our variable. Well, 4 is multiplying x. So we're going to divide both sides by 4. And when we do that, these 4s 
will cancel each other out. 4 divided by 4 is 1, so we'll have 1x, or just x. And our answer, x is equal to 7 divided by 4. And then we're done. Since this fraction won't reduce, that is, that is our answer. As a decimal, if you're curious, let's see, 7 divided by 4. Well, 4 is 0.25, or 1 fourth is 0.25. So 7 times 0.25, I think that'll give me 1.75. And then we're done. So I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll be back for more.